Hello YouTube modelers, welcome back to my channel. I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers. So here's the current status of the T55. I purchased some flat green, Tamiya acrylic. May not be a perfect match, but it's good enough. I did want to paint over the molded green color. It may not be the perfect um, Russian green, but do good coverage on plastic. I'm actually impressed in putting this together where Tamiya would give you one piece hull and one piece side. This actually is multi-piece. All these are all multi-piece. So if you wanted to, you can actually leave the top open or unhinged and you can put in maybe photo etch or small plastic tools or Things that look like tank tools, if you want to detail it. Even here, if you want to stick an engine in, you can actually leave these hatches open. These were all separate pieces. So, pretty impressive. I will not be gluing the hatch closed because, and this is one of the few instances where the accessory, I've paid full retail, which is actually more than the tank kit, because the tank kit I bought in a factory closeout, or a you know, liquidation store, um, Ollie's. So it's kind of like paying more for lettuce and tomato than the steak burger you're putting it on. So here is the tank crew. It looks like you just need two basic colors, flat black and flesh tone. And of course you need wood brown. They include AK-47U for short version because tankers don't need the range they just need it as a secondary weapon so I'm gonna pause the video and let's take a look at the figures okay so there's a advertisement for a new Russian 130 millimeter I don't know why this was included I guess it's just their promotional to get you interested so, if you guys are interested in any of these kits, of course, this is the one that I got. Here is the weapons. The short AK-47U. These are their helmets. The ripping and the line, very sharp. And the four figures. Their faces. Okay, so that's about it. Everything is going to be flat black anyway. So that's where I am now. Probably stick them. One in each driver, and one probably will be uh, crouching outside. All right, so all the parts have been sprayed with this flat green. It uh, looks pretty much like the box art. I left all the compartments open so that I can add maybe some parts in it but um, I'm contemplating whether to keep this one closed because it's going to get in the way of the turning turret inside is a molded color outside is a flat green wheels spray painted I decided to spray the wheel separately so that you can get every nook and cranny in and also behind the wheel. This is the turret. So, still have to do the tracks. And the figures. 
All right, here we are at the final reveal. Just want to thank Yakim and Marcus for hosting this heavy armor group build. So, here is the final kit. Overall, it's not bad for 10 bucks. I just wish it included the figures. The tank looks like it's more relaxed because the crew is out. I left two of the three compartments or bins open. Scratch built what looks to be mortar shells because they're not long enough to be the main gun shells with some grenades. Spare part that makes it look like a jack. Weathered it with some brown craft paint, heavily diluted in water. I know a lot of people like the multi links, but I didn't mind the rubber band treads. There are guides or tabs that depress the tread so that it kind of looks like it's sagging. So the weathering makes it look like it's got a little bit of rust or some dirt. As far as the pros, I like that the hull came in multi-piece. The, um, the bins and storage are all separate pieces, not molded into the hull, so you can do different configurations. It comes with extra parts for the Tehran 5, which include like a external storage bin, rear turret mounted storage bin and two machine guns after the russian model shouldn't have a machine gun but i kind of wanted it with a secondary weapon up on top as far as the pros i mean the uh, multi-piece hull different configurations as far as the con main gun does not elevate or depress there is no breach included for the internal so you can see it from the hatch. No figures were included. The poly caps, in some cases, were small in diameter than the actual wheels. So the wheels can pop off pretty easily. Um, and then they don't roll that easily. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. It does have some cons. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'll have stills at the end. Oh, the, uh, I had to glue and make my own retaining tabs so that the turret won't keep popping off. So, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll have stills at the end, as usual. I'm glad that I put this together because I haven't built a tank for so long. Later.